It says, don't feed the bird. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Rodrigo is my responsibility. That's very mature of you, Miss Fortune. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. Aye, horsey, stop it. Oh. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Of course. Check this out. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold it anymore! <laughs> oh no, misfortune. When the trees are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. 
The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question. Are you happy right now? Well, not really. Many things make me sad. That's why I want the prize so much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? No, but my unicorn is telling me that I should work on it. I bet everyone would love me if I was a unicorn. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Check this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Ugh, smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> Writer of the erotic novel, Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. It 
that says Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Nah, too little information. Ah, let's see. Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Ah, no prize in here. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <laughs> Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? <sighs> Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself, and for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, yeah. oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. 
Oh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay. I'll just hang around. Let's see what's new. Let's see what's new. Look, the zoo. You know, with the animals. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. There! Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head. Miss Fortune? Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh. Let's just keep going, then. Hi, you look familiar. What? Miss Sin. Wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> She probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes, she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Wait, sir! You drop your wallet.
One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Is this for me? A lottery ticket? Cool, thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? Maybe next time. It says, let's face it, sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. It says, let's face it, use happy face. <laughs> okay. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while, though. Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved. And that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. Ah. Uh, Excuse me? How dare you? Where is the puppy? Did you take the puppy? One should pet puppies, not take them and... Who knows what? I don't know. Do you? Really? All right. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. 
There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Ew, that's a little bull crap. Run for your life, little baby cow. Oh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store, and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hey, remember? What? Phantasmagoria. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. <gasps> A wolf! Can I pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Any tickets to the... Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about... Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... Tell a lie so he believes it. A lie, Miss Fortune. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I mean, that's the only way to get inside. Trust me. All right, let's go. Hello, excuse me. There's one of the missing children at the bus stop. I just saw her. You may want to go and check it out. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it worked. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Look, birdie nom nom. <laughs> what? What did you say to me? 
give yourself a fuck. Oh, misfortune. Watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh, dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. Wow, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. There, you see? That's the wolfie. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoying, like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No, hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> Ah, so much better. There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. I wish I could throw a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also, that Benjamin transform into a good foxy because I would totally go out on a date with him if he was good. Mm. Are you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> those sweet blushes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. This looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Oh my, looks like this area is closed to the public. Oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you, otherwise she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea, hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready, let's do this. <laughs> 